This morning I am up nice and early and I am headed to a berries class. When we still lived in Toronto, when we still lived in our old apartment in Toronto, I had bought a fresh pack of berries classes, uh, about like a couple weeks before the first lockdown hit. And you know, the years that followed, the moving that followed, luckily they have opened a berries here in Vancouver and I was able to transfer my passes over. <laughs> and we do not live in the city, so I have yet to go to a berries class here in Van. And we spent the night downtown last night we hung out with some friends it was really nice and this morning i'm gonna start the day off right with a little berries class come along fam hello happy day to you welcome to the vlog <laughs> awesome. done there's some wow i forgot i forgot what construction noise sounded like in the city I do not miss that. <laughs> Just finished. I showered in there and it was a delight. Honestly, having the Peloton treadmill has made such a difference in how I do a berries class. Like, I feel like the Peloton classes, I do the beginner classes, by the way, because I am not a runner and I'm not good at running. Um, but it's it's done such a good job at like teaching you the foundations, the fundamentals in running. And I feel like that Barry's class was prior to when I used to go like pre 2020 in, in Toronto. Um, it, it's made such a difference. So that makes me really excited. And like, will I someday go for a jog? <laughs> The possibilities are endless. <laughs> so anyway, it was great, great to great to do a class again. And I am now gonna go grab Dan and grab the fam. And we're gonna go for breakfast. OEB classic staple. It's actually from Calgary. Like back when I lived in Calgary and went to university there, like we used to go to OEB for breakfast. And it's in Vancouver and now we go and it's delicious. So <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I am, I'm so tired. It must be just the combo of berries and then food coma from our delectable breakfast. But now we have driven to Delta and it's very exciting because today we're picking up a piece of furniture. We just parked outside. It's like customer pickup. We have a, an appointment time and we're picking up a desk for the front room, which we're very excited to be setting up today. If only we had our dining room table too. Someday. Someday we'll get our dining table. <laughs> but for now, come with us my friends. Today we're going to be setting up the front den, starting with this desk. It looks like a treasure chest we found in like a ship. We've got the desk on lock. <laughs> gonna bring it home and we're gonna set it up <laughs> all right we are home I've just been uh, cleaning up the front room we also took the rug that was under the coffee table into there I don't know if it's gonna stay here just yet we want to see what the table looks like and whatnot when it's all together but this is the little little front room with our little library bookshelf which is wildly undecorated please ignore it but here is the rug and we're gonna go and bring the desk in from the car and put it together shall we follow up let's flip it flip it okay here's the table desk it's a desk, but here she is. Ain't she beautiful? This is the Athena desk from Rope Concepts. We got the marble top and then the wood, the wood, I don't, what do you call this? I mean, the wood legs, but I just love this texture. It's so gorgeous, it's so gorgeous. And they had a couple different leg options and a couple different top options. I wanted the travertine, but thought that the marble would be better and more practical in, in this room. Also, it's looking so yellow. It's light. We need to change that light so bad. Yeah. Ugh. That's the next project. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's on a lighting kick. We're gonna be changing these, these. Um, anyway, yeah, the desk is beautiful. We also already got chairs. The chairs were delivered a few weeks ago, but this desk kept de uh, being delayed, so I didn't wanna, like, 
you know, vlog the chairs getting here and then be like, JK, show you the desk next time. But we already have the chairs, so I'll bring them in and show you the finished furniture. <laughs> So this is the new the new desk, the new chairs. We also officially, uh, when we talked about getting the the fake olive trees, we had returned the fiddle fig leaf and got another one of the Ollie olive trees. So this is tentatively gonna be here. The other one's still in the living room, but uh, yeah, it's here. These chairs, these chairs are so, oh my God, they were like from the start. Hey, when we were first moving in, when we were going through furniture, I wanted, like, I wanted these chairs from CB2 from day one. And I was so happy that they came back in stock because they were out of stock for a long time. And I'm really happy that we got our hands on them. They are deeply uncomfortable. Like, you cannot lean back. This is a sit-up chair only for sure. <laughs> but they're so cute! And I love the table. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And this is now gonna be the start of finishing up this front room the the library welcome to my office <laughs> okay so the desk is set up we need to deal with the garbage and whatnot but now we're actually going to get the facial we're getting a couple's facial together i was actually trying um i don't know if you can see this. I'll actually show you one sec. I've been trying some new skincare products. I have a lot of products on hand that I was kind of waiting to try. And I was trying this Allies of Skin cream, this face cream. And Carolyn Hirons raves about this and I was really excited to try it. And I had a couple of their products that they had sent me like a long time ago. So I don't, I don't know if it's expired, but I hadn't opened it before. It was a new opening and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on this, but I literally have like dots all over my face and I tried it yesterday. They kind of appeared last night and it's continued today. So I'm having like quite a reaction to this and I'm just gonna go get like a little <laughs> glow facial and just restock on my SkinCeuticals, man, because holy moly, like my skin's just having a moment and I need it to be very ready for next week. So we're gonna go get a little facial, which I'm very excited about it. It's such a treat. And then uh, for the rest of the eve, we're just gonna be cleaning up. Join us for the journey, my friends. We're gonna go and bring you along for a little facial glow. Hello, Mero. Hello. Yep. So we've just finished our facials. We had a little couple's facial. We were in the same room. Dan got the gentleman's facial. Yeah. With a beard oil massage. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Feels great, honestly. Rejuvenated. Super, super good. Oh yeah, you're super smooth. Very nice. Feeling refreshed. Gonna uh, gonna head home with our baby butt skin. Good morning, Meryl. Good morning. Good morning. This morning I am just. Having some pre-workout, getting myself ready for a leg day. I've been doing a variation of my same leg day since January, since the start of the new year, and it's been going really well. I'm really enjoying it. I'll just let you know what, what I'm doing today. I'm gonna start with deficit lunges, weighted deficit lunges. That's just backwards lunges, and then I just do it off a plate. Then I'm gonna do goblet squats, landmine squats, superset those with RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. I do those with the dumbbells, doing some Bulgarian splits. <laughs> Split squats, good morning. And then I'm gonna end with some barbell hip thrusts and hopefully get a good little walk or run in on the treadmill. And that is my leg day. I'm very sore from the Barry's class. <laughs> oh my God, my calves were like shot, but the Barry's class was an upper body day. So I'm gonna do legs today. My skin this morning is still, actually like the forehead is so, so, so much better, but you can still see the remnant little reaction. I don't know what is going on. I realized in upon further reflection that while I was using this, there were also a few other new products that I was trying. Uh, I, I did use this consistently for three days straight and then like halfway through that, my face just kind of exploded, but I also used a new primer and a new foundation. So I don't know 
what it is, but I'm just gonna not use anything else new for the time being and just go back to SkinCeuticals. I picked up another Triple Lipid Restore Cream and I'm just gonna use that because yeah, it's crazy. I don't know if it's something on the inside or if it's something on the outside, but this seems very much like my, my normal high V reaction and yeah, super bad timing. I've got a photo shoot this week. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Guys, I'm gonna drink my pre-workout and then hop to this leg thing. Hello from the library. Oh my God, these shelves. I'm gonna have to do some major major decor in, in this business, but look at this little morning light. It is a gray, sad, sad, cloudy, rainy day, but fun fact about the layout of our house and like the light facing and whatnot, this little front room that we have ignored so deeply since we moved in is actually the brightest room in the house. This gets all the direct sunlight when there is actually sun. So I very much look forward to like vlogging from here, and you know, like whenever I vlog, I'm always sitting in the kitchen and it's actually like a very dark point in the house and it'll just be nice to like do my chats in here, have my computer in here instead of having all of our crap like sitting on the kitchen counter, which it always is. And uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a really nice, nice space to have and I'm really excited. So I'll show you guys um, how it looks in the daylight for now. I just showered and I got dressed, finished my little leg day. I didn't do the Bulgarian split squats. <laughs> Why is that so hard? I did not do the split squats um, because I ran out of time. And uh, that is because we are actually off bright and early this morning to LA. And I'm not gonna be vlogging that in this vlog. It'll be next week's vlog, but I'm obviously gonna bring you guys along. And we're doing something very exciting in LA, which I have teased uh, prior to this <laughs> many, many times, but I have mentioned a few times that there's some very exciting news coming about Picante, my blush shade with nude sticks. We launched it previously just on nudesticks.com and a few other places, and I'm so excited to let you guys know that Picante is officially becoming a permanent blush in the Nude Sticks collection. Picante is here to stay. Dan and I are headed to LA because Nude Sticks is actually doing a bit of a launch for their summer collections. There's some really exciting products that I'll obviously let you guys know about. And part of that is also Picante being a part of the permanent collection. So we're headed to LA this week. We're gonna be doing a shoot and then we are doing a little launch party for their summer collection. And then Picante is just squeezing in there. And I'm really excited to let you guys know all the info. So so later this week, Picante is officially, as a permanent blush shade with Nude Sticks, gonna be starting its global launch. So Picante is going to be available everywhere that Nude Sticks is available, and that's gonna be happening like slowly throughout this year. And I'll obviously let you guys know dates as they come, but by the end of 2022, Picante is gonna be here to stay. So I hope you guys are excited for those of you who have been waiting patiently to get your hands on Picante. Just know that very, very soon it will be available everywhere that Nude Sticks is available. So we're really excited. And that's why <laughs> it's very, sad about my little skin situation. I'm like, no, I have a shoot. <laughs> so that's what you guys can expect from next week's vlog. Really excited. The weather in LA this week is just looking stunning. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna soak up the sun so, so hard. And there's lots of picante fun to come. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's where we're headed. That's where I'm gonna leave this vlog, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with us uh, this last week and we'll see you next week in LA. Love you guys a lot. Thanks for being here. See you very soon. Bye!